Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday, February 7th, and it's gonna be kind of a busy day today. I have a lot of errands I have to run. I'm gonna be hanging out with Isaac. I have to go to the mall. I have to find an outfit for the this pre-Grammys brunch I'm going to this weekend, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But I do need an outfit, and it's like cocktail slash luxury attire. So definitely need an outfit for that. I'll be going to the mall. I'm not really sure which one yet, but I did just get done working out. That's why I'm kind of out of breath right now. I feel like I should like take a breath and slow down so I just got done working out and I'm actually whoa that looks like a mess so I'm actually making some breakfast slash lunch um, just like a smoothie and some avocado toast but I was in my kitchen like making this stuff and I could knock at my door and Isaac said I was gonna be getting a package today and I was a little confused but um, this came I'm gonna open this up, let me get a knife. I actually slept at Isaac's last night um, just because I haven't really gotten to spend any time with him because he was in Dublin for the last few weeks, or not the last few weeks, the last few days. Um, so I really haven't had any time to spend with him, so I slept at his place last night. He woke me up at 7.30 and was like, you have to go back to your apartment, you have a package coming, and you have to be there to sign for it. And I was like, uh, okay. Let's open this, see what it is. I mean, on the front it says Passion Roses, so. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be roses. Why do I feel like this is like a Chargers thing? It has Isaac's number on it. This is so cute! I got two dozen roses. These are so pretty. Isaac isn't like a huge flower guy. He's gotten me flowers in our relationship like a handful of times and we've been dating for four years. I don't know, it's just not something that he usually does and when he does it, it's a big deal. I am going to put these in water. That was the cutest little surprise. I'm gonna call him right now. Did you get those boys? Isaac, they're so cute. Oh. They're so I'll pretty. Call you when I'm leaving you. I'll call you when I'm leaving. Were they from the Chargers? Because they had your number on it. <laughs> no, they're not from the Chargers. They'd be clutch though. <laughs> I assumed it because it literally had 98 on both bouquets. Isaac is actually getting treatment right now like body work right now so he's obviously not gonna be super lovey-dovey but I have to send him a picture because he wanted one guys I'm like ecstatic back to normal programming super cute surprise I did not expect that but Isaac said it's like kind of like a Valentine's Day thing and it wasn't from the Chargers which is a little bit better because it doesn't show that he was like pushed to get flowers for somebody the reason I say that is because sometimes they have discounts for the chargers and they'll say like hey you guys have like a discount for like this food place and then isaac will take me to the food place and we'll get a discount and i'm like oh it was the chargers but this is all on his own so so i just want to show you guys what i'm eating right now i'm super into fitness lately i talked about it in one of my past vlogs that i have a bunch of trips coming up I'm going to New Orleans, going to Greece, going to Egypt, uh, Mexico, and my body just hasn't been the place I've wanted it to be. So long story short, super into fitness, um, and I've actually been making some pretty bomb smoothies. In this smoothie, there's chia seeds, flax, coconut, acai, goji, hemp, camu, and... What's that one word? It's on the tip of my tongue. I don't know. Anyways, so that's all in this smoothie. So I'm thinking maybe I will show you guys like a day, like what I eat in a day because it's pretty bomb and it's all super healthy. Next, I got some avocado toast with some everything bagel seasoning on it. Um, I'm going to eat this and then as you guys just heard, Isaac's about to come pick me up in 40 minutes. So I gotta hurry up and eat this and then find a way to get ready um, and then we're gonna go shopping. All right guys, so I quickly got ready. Isaac came and picked me up and now we are at the Urban spectrum so I talked about this earlier we're here to find me an outfit for this pre Grammys brunch and I'm gonna talk about the brunch later but I need a cocktail outfit so I'm thinking maybe like a jumpsuit or like just like a really nice dress I don't know I'm like I have to find this today because the brunch is on Saturday yeah boys are running out of time fast whoa Alright guys, so easy, easy, <laughs> easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. With game, Isaac's game, luck, game, game. the first two outfits I tried on, I really, really liked. It. So I'm gonna buy both, and then on the day of the event, I'll just make my decision. Gang, 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 gang. Super easy. <laughs> Hey 
Hey guys, welcome to the second part or the second day of this vlog where I'm trying to prepare for this pre-Grammys brunch that I'm going to. Yesterday night, I decided that I'm probably going to wear the blue strapless jumpsuit. I think it just looks a lot more flattering on my body than the black one and it's like a little bit more pizzazz and there's gonna be celebrities there so I wanna make sure that like I'm wearing my best fit. Because I'm wearing that outfit, I need something to go around my neck. Um, I will be wearing my hair up in a ponytail. Also, by the way, my eyebrows are super red because I just went and got them waxed, so I apologize about that. So I need a necklace, maybe like a pair of studs, and then a pair of strappy heels. Isaac's FaceTiming me. What up? Did you see the picture? Yeah, I think it looks good. Isaac figured out what he's wearing. What was I saying? Okay, so, need to find a necklace, earrings, and a pair of strappy heels. Um, I did, let me give you guys something really cool. So I did get the invitation, um, and on the invitation, it's very interesting. It, is, it just shows that this event is like high profile. So the dress code is um, brunch chic cocktail attire and suits are mandatory. And then transportation, so they are not telling us the address of this event. It says the event is taking place at an undisclosed private residence. So basically we have to go to this location. They're gonna give us the address to one location and then we have to get a, sh like we're gonna get in a shuttle and go to a different location and they're not telling us where that location is. Probably because they don't want us telling other people because Beyonce is gonna be there and like other really cool celebrities are gonna be there so they just don't wanna tell us the address. I mean, I don't blame them. It seems like a super extra event but I'm really excited for it. So with that being said, um, I'm about to go into DSW and if I don't find shoes there then maybe Nordstrom Rack, but I'm gonna take you guys with me So I don't need to explain all of it 